The earth is owned by a so-called you damn near. They, they own the Federal Reserve, you know what that is? Yeah, they print the money. The so-called you actually prints the money that's in your pocket, okay? Which is not real money. It's a, it's a joke. All right, it's paper. FRNs. Gold and silver is real money. FRNs ain't real money, right. But the so-called you, they run Hollywood. They run the news. Why do you think they always talk about the Palestinians being terrorists on the news when it's obvious that the Israelis are the one killing everybody? Mm -hmm. Because the Jews own the news. They mm -hmm. print the paper. They own them. They own all the cable TV networks. They own all that shit. Now read that again. So they're not they're not poor by far. That's, That's why all their last names then was silver. Goldberg, Silverstein. Uh, <laughs> go down the list. Like your boy, they got caught in the NBA. Oh, what's the NBA's commissioner's last name? Silver? Oh. Silver. Aaron Silver? Yeah. They always put, they because that's not their real last name. They come to America and they change their name to silver or gold or whatever. Oh, go ahead. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. But well, we're actually rich because we have this knowledge and we got the promise of the Heavenly Father. You go on. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. The blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not. Keep going. But are the synagogue of Satan. So the so-called Jews are the synagogue of Satan. They're the devil. All right. Let me get it, let me get it straight. Oh, you got something? Because you go to Job 9 and 24, it tells you that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The whole earth. They didn't just say some of the earth. It said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So this, these devils, they run in every goddamn thing. You know, every damn thing, man. From the smallest thing, from the small carryout to the drug dealer that's in the hood. All this shit, man. Because they're they're behind the drug trade. They are the drug well, trade. Yeah, the, like this, uh, they own the government. That's right. You know where all this heroin's coming from? You know, there's a, the heroin use in America is way up. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody's popping pills now. They on Oxycontin, mm -hmm. uh, Percocets, Vicodins. Everybody's high on that shit now. Everybody. You know, almost every other person you see probably got some in their pocket. All, all that's made from the poppy plant. And it's coming from Afghanistan because uh, the United States military is over in Afghanistan growing mm -hmm. And the Marine Corps is guarding it, bro. You ever watch uh, Fox News, Geraldo Rivera? Mm -hmm. Geraldo Rivera did a story on Fox News when he's like, what the fuck, pretty much. He's like, why is the Marine Corps guarding? Hey, he lucky he even made it back here alone. Right, he, he's right. Lucky, he lucky. He's lucky they got that story that story out. Mm -hmm. But he, he proved that uh, the, the Marines is over there guarding the poppy fields. You know what I mean? Now, let me ask you this. Is it the Illuminati real? Yeah, it's real. It's in the scripture. Yeah, it's real. It's, it's in, the in the scripture. Hey, uh, what's that, Psalm Day 3? <coughs> Yeah, that's in the scripture, bro. Well, let me out. That's a good point. That's a, I'm glad you said that. Because it's so-called Illuminati. They're not real. We're the real Illuminati. Because we're illuminated. We're the children of light. To be illuminated means you're of light. They're not of light. They're of darkness and death. All right? All right. Yeah, let's read this. Yeah, let this bus go by. It's a, you can't hear shit. Yeah, that Illuminati shit, man, that's how a lot of people waking up to the to truth. You know what I mean? That's just a, well, that's what we were before we actually found the truth. We were in a lot of that conspiracy stuff, you know? That's good, though, to learn about mm -hmm. that shit. It's good. But it, it, ain't, it ain't good if you want to learn about it so you can be a part of it. Yeah, because you got a lot of people wanting to be a Freemason now. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right. they know that through Freemas Freemasonry, that's a key to making it. That's well, a, a, you know? You know who Albert Pike is? He, he, He's a, he, he's a, he wrote a book called Morals and Dogma. It's a famous Freemason book. He's one of the most heralded Freemasons of all time, right? And he said, the Albert Pike, 3033 Freemason, he said that uh, all Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah. Now what's the Kabbalah? That, that's what the so-called Jews practice. They practice the Kabbalah. The law of Freemasonry was actually started by the so-called Jew, the devil. Because they comes from the uh, from ancient Babylon. Because the Kabbalah actually go back to ancient Babylon. So Freemasonry is actually based upon them so-called Jews beliefs. They're the ones that started that shit. Right. Uh, Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thou silent. 
O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They're taking crafty counsel, okay? Well, they call it mace. Mason, they call it the craft. The witchcraft. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, Israel. Against Israel. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what they've done to us. Keep going, they've taken our identity from us. They've stolen our identity. They said that they're the Jews, they're the chosen people. And then they've said that we're all go. They call us Goy. They try to say we're the Goy, the Goyim. Cattle. Right. And they call us useless evil. They, that, uh -huh. they have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They don't want us, they don't want us out here teaching people to their Israel. They don't want Israel to wake up. For they, they have, because they know that means they're going into slavery. That's right, because once Israel wake up, once 144,000 wake up, that's it. And that's a small ass number to wake up, to be honest with you, in all reality, 144,000 men, that's I mean, good. there's going to be another. There's going to be a, a, a one great, third of Israel that's going to receive a lot of this knowledge too. Great multitude. That great multitude, which it speaks of that great multitude after the destruction that came toward the Lord. Yep. That great multitude of different Israelites that looked like everybody, looked like everybody. You know. I can get that. And John was like, <laughs> you know, we ain't got to get. Let's just stay with this. All right, one. Okay. For um, for they have consulted together with one consent in their smoke-filled rooms. Did you ever see a Freemason building? They're all, they, Columbus got a That's bunch of them. Does it got windows? Uh, yeah. A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. If you notice, I know lodges, they're called some lodges. do. Besides it does. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them, they'll have well, parts of it don't have windows. I've noticed a lot of them. I made a couple of videos on it. Because this one by my house, a uh, Freemason building, they got an upside down pentagram on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, they might not be using it. There's a, there's so many lodges in Columbus, it's ridiculous. You, they, they're oh, not, this, there's about a hundred This is Columbus, bro. man, it's everywhere, man, it's everywhere. A lot of times you see them and you won't even know it's a lodge. Yep. You know, it looks like a, um, a building where like you would think you can just put lawn equipment in or some shit, but it's a big ass building, it looks like a, I mean, you know. They're you can, everywhere, bro. You can tell by looking at it, it you don't belong there. <laughs> For real, <laughs> you can tell. For they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against thee. Let me go there. Yeah, so yeah, like you said, the Illuminati, they're confederate. You know the word confederate, that means together with faith. That was they're against us, bro. They want to kill us. That's why when you go to court, all the judges are goddamn Freemasons. You know what I mean? Or they part of some kind of society. And you go to the court, and say a poor person goes to court. They set your bond at a million dollars. You can't afford that. But a uh, rich motherfucker go to court and hit, and he'll never go to jail. Cause you, in America, you can buy your way to freedom. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. That's not. Does that sound like justice to you? Where the rich man never goes to jail? <laughs> yeah, this whole shit is set up against us, bro. Israelites. Against Israel, Israelites. Against Israelites. And it's that, only through the spirit you're gonna find out you are an Israelite. Just like shit, like Tupac and all that shit. Well. Well, Tupac, fuck Tupac. <laughs> so, I mean, I listen to Pac every once in a while. Who don't? But Tupac was rapping about adultery. Okay, he's talking about I fuck Biggie's wife. That's totally, the Bible says an adulteress get put to death. You know what I'm saying? So what did the Most High do to Tupac? He got put to fucking death. Here you go, this is a... Uh, he's dead. dead all right. He got shot five times. That court. motherfucker's dead. Most, the most high wanted him dead. And he ain't bragging about it. I, right. He, he was, got his first time he got shot five times, he bragged about it. Mm -hmm. Shook, uh, Shook Knight? Uh, Shook shot me. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he's probably one to kill him. Uh, Shook's nice. He's a Freemason, though. You know, he went to, uh, he was part of the Greek fraternities and shit. I think he went to UNLV played up football. in Nevada. He played football. Mm -hmm. So he was all up in the fraternities. How do, you, how do you think he got a big record label like that? Working for the Jew. So the Jews are the ones who gave him that record label. Being a big faggot. E even a Jew was in charge of that NWA shit. What's that mm -hmm. fat faggot Right, fat? that's right. I, I, I can't right, remember um, his name, Yeah, man. right, right. Look into it. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? They all big faggots. Because the so-called Jew runs the music industry. Everybody knows that. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah, this is Isaiah <laughs> 10 and 1. 
Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Right. That's uh, America. Laws are grievous. Okay. These laws are set up to keep you down. That's it. This, this, America is essentially a giant slave plantation. Mm -hmm. It was founded upon slavery. Check this out, bro. Get Revelation 13 and, uh, you know. I'm still flourishing off of slavery. This is, Amer this is how America was founded. They want to say, God bless America. Well, let's go to America's beginnings. That's something to be proud of, is that America was found upon uh, slavery, bro. This is Revelation 13 and 9. Yeah, everybody knows George Washington was a Freemason, right? And he owned over 300 slaves. That's a fact. So this, and George, uh, same with Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson said all men are created equal. Why he had a whole uh, slave plantation full of slaves. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's a goddamn hypocrite, bro. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. That, he that killeth with the sword. Like that, what happened to the Native American Indians? They were slaughtered. What is America doing right now going around the world? Slaughtering people. They give, they, uh, giving all the money to Israel. And Israel's over there slaughtering Palestinians. And you see, they talking yeah, about yeah, doubling up on. They talking about doubling up on Israel's Iron Dome. That you know that we already giving billions of dollars to these bastards every day. Yep. You know, they talking about doubling up on the Iron Dome. America was just in Iraq, killed over, oh, well over a million Iraqis from what 2003. Now they about to go back in Iraq. We ain't gonna mention Afghanistan. Oh, that we already talked about that with the pocket plant. Right, right. So they're, they slaughtered millions of people, man. They, I mean, there are literally millions of children without mom and dad around because of America, you know? But they want to say, God, like, like, God bless America. <laughs> Who want to God bless a devil, you know? A goddamn devil. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here are the pace, Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints are screaming to the Most High, Revenge, revenge, revenge. Cause revenge is all through the Bible, man. Yeah, the Lord, he gonna avenge the blood of the saints. That's right. That's in rep. I will get that, bro. The white mouth that you missing, man. But this time, the Lord's going. We gonna do. We went through all them years of slavery, five hundred years of slavery. To well, hell, to now. They're gonna go through a thousand years. We and after that thousand years, they're gonna get burnt the fuck like, up. Like we in July, we just had the July Fourth just passed. And you got black people celebrating the 4th of July, 17th. Hey, some shit. But where was black people at 1776? In, in shackles, with, with iron yokes around their neck. Hell, I still got my iron yoke print. That's who your boy, Mr. T, you remember Mr. T? This dumb ass. <laughs> he said he wore all them chain, them gold mm -hmm. chains to remind him of the, the slave chains. Right. He's, he like, I, he's like, I want to feel the weight. Right. Remind me of my ancestors. Talking about he's a rich slave. What the fuck? That's yeah, he, he's having a time of a nigga for your ass. Yeah, that's a time of a nigga for your ass. Beware these motherfuckers in the hood, man. They claim to be your friend. You gotta look at them with a double eye. Especially a motherfucker that say loves you. You better look at him with the corner of your eye, man. Keep an eye on these motherfuckers, man. Plus, all I've experienced growing up in this world, and I'm almost 50 years old, was everybody you knew, your associates, eventually gonna turn against you. Eventually will turn against you. Because eventually if they're gonna turn to drugs, you know, they're gonna uh I mean they're gonna want something from you, your wife, well, them, your, the, your physical possessions. The scriptures say those of your own household, your main enemies will be your own family. The only brothers you will have in this world is if you come to the truth. And the brothers you are pushing this truth with those that that's the only family you have. The only family you have, you know? I got a scripture for you. Let me read a scripture, bro. If you want it's to a cruel me, world, man. The Most High got you out it's here. It's a cruel ass world. What you about, 17, 18? 19. 19? You see, you still young and naive, you know? You just experienced getting out in the world. Actually, the Most High is blessing you right now. Because mm -hmm. I was just talking earlier. I was saying, I wish I would have got the truth when I was 19. Right, the right. Lord didn't give me no truth till I was 30 years old, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, almost, I'm going on 40 now. I, 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 I would have I loved to have heard this truth when I was your age. It would have been amazing, man. The scripture says, remember the days of thy remember the days of remember the days of the Lord thy youth. Yep. 
Yeah, let me read this scripture to you. Uh, it's back, something what the brother was just saying. If I can find it. Okay. This is uh, Luke 14 and 25. And, and there went great multitudes with him, talking about the Lord, the one they call Jesus. And his real name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the true name of the, the Son of the Most High. It's not Jesus. Okay, Jesus, that's a Greek word. Jesus! <laughs> In ancient Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's something you need to remember. And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, This is what the Lord said to the great multitude of people. He said, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Hate your own life, man, because I know you're struggling. I know you ain't got it made. You know what I'm saying? I know all your bills ain't paid on time. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're a brother like us, you know what I'm saying? Unless you are doing some wicked shit, you're a fucking faggot sucking dick, you get paid. Cause that's who's successful in this world, faggots. 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 Now, if you if you speak out against faggots now, you get fired from your job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, faggots supposed to get put to death. You know You're supposed saying? to kill a faggot. But we can't kill a faggot because this devil's on top right now. He's still in charge of the law. So we can't do it yet until the Lord gets it. It's like an adulterous woman. In America, you could get with a woman, get her pregnant, that'd be your wife, right? That bitch will go kill your baby, bro, get an abortion. abortion. Ain't, ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Actually, she can go kill your baby, commit murder, then divorce you, and then go get uh, child support. And check me. this out. Some of them nasty bitches will do this to have your baby, but give that baby up to somebody you don't yep. know who the fuck it is, a poor doctor. It's a wicked ass world, man. It, 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 it's not ending to this shit. That's man. why the Lord got to destroy this shit, and He is going to destroy this shit. This place is out here, man. And let me read the rest of this. It's being played out. Luke 14 to 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross. That's what we're doing. That, that's the cross. We're, we're speaking to you about right now, all these all this wickedness. You know, especially that's been done to us personally. Right. We're bearing that cross. And more to bearing the cross is actually come out here doing the work. Right. Sacrifice yeah. Satan. Fuck this world. <laughs> Sacrifice and everything that you love to do this work. Not to come out here with a fucking cross. Like, oh, we, yeah. like Dracula's around, even though these people ain't nothing but vampires. The Filipinos don't, 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 don't. Right, right. The Filipinos actually carry crosses and get crucified. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> you know why Dracula runs? Because he's allergic to bullshit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, let me read this real quick. Uh, and whosoever did not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. That's right. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sit if not down first and counteth the cost whether he has sufficient to finish it. Uh, I mean, that's the point right there. If you don't, you gotta bear your cross, bro. If you wanna do the work of the Heavenly Father, you gotta do his work. You gotta come out here. You gotta feed the sheep. We was reading that John, John earlier. John 21. The but Lord, you know what? The funny thing is, most people are just numb to all this bullshit that's been done to them. So they feel like there's no hope. So they choose to do nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. This is a time of the great awakening. <laughs> Actually, there is hope, though. Yeah, right, right, right. There right. is hope. Right. I mean, if we talk about gloom and doom, it's just, there's hope for the elect, bro, which is a very small number. Because most of these people are mindless zombies, bro. They in a, they in a motherfucking, they, they got them hypnotized. The devil got them in a, under a magical spell. Yeah, here you, you go. You know what I'm saying? This is Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Yeah, this was written during the time of Daniel, which was 2,500 years ago. <coughs> so he said, seal the book. Keep going. To the time of the end. Now we in the end now. To seal the book means to, you know, to seal up a lot of those mysteries and stuff. Go ahead. Many shall run to and fro. Now, now this is talking about the end. This was written over 2,500 years ago. Go ahead. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So that's talking about the last days. Many shall run to and fro. All these cars, transportation. You got people in America coming from India, goddamn Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Somalia. All everybody's going to and fro, flying, taking boats, 
That's the first time in history. And knowledge is in <coughs> Look at the internet. Mm. Yeah, okay. Hell, you got internet on you right now. You got technology on you right now that they weren't, they didn't have, you know. That's that new that's shit. That's right, that's the technology. Knowledge, that's that knowledge. That's that knowledge. That's those, been increased. Because the Lord said in the last days the knowledge is being increased. So people ain't got no excuse how they can't receive this knowledge because that knowledge, that phone right there can receive our videos you to too. teach on it. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, the Lord created the internet for us. Not for just it's for knowledge. <laughs> That's what it's for. It's for like, knowledge. I got, you got a puppy. Record your puppy and some kitten videos <laughs> or some uh, that shit they be playing on World Star Hip Hop. Motherfuckers <laughs> get knocked out and shit. Or some porn. Or some porn. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Everybody watches porn. It's oh, the internet. With, it, yeah, we all do. You know this internet. This technology has become a stumbling block for the majority of the people. Yeah. Instead of look for knowledge on it, they rather choose to do wicked shit, they stupid rather, shit. Yeah, they rather you know? upload their own porn videos. Right. And now you can make your own porn. You make your own shit, and right. Your own porno site and everything. Your own shit, you know? Like half these hoes out here, they probably done made a porno, bro. I guarantee it. I guarantee you, at least out of... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'd say about... I don't want to get mad at you. I'd say eight out of 10 women have made a porno. Yeah. That close enough? That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, for real, bro. You bitches are cold, bro. All you bitches are <laughs> Nah, for real. When you get on the internet, the porno is endless. It's it endless. goes on forever. And each it's video endless. got a different... Trillions. But each video got a different woman. These are like literally... Millions and millions of women make a porno. <coughs> millions, millions, millions. RedTube.com. Who, who, who? RedTube.com. <laughs> I don't know. The, There's don't videos know. uploaded every single day. Oh, see, there you go. What? Every day. Wow. And they got Open comments videos. and everything on it too, don't yeah. they? You make comments. See, I used to, I started this like a couple years after, year after I was in the truth. I used to go to websites, yeah. porn yeah. sites. Bestiality sites. Bitches have sex with dogs, blowing horses. And I used I to go to them. No, I just <laughs> see, listen, that. see, listen, I used to go to them so I can leave scripture and leave comments on them. Yeah. But they stopped allowing you to leave comments now. Yeah. And I know why. I know why. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because me and a couple other brothers be doing it too. Because I heard somebody in GMS was doing it a lot too. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, yeah. I just heard this like not too long ago. One of those in GMS, GMS was going through the sites too. I'm on YouTube. But they don't allow you to leave comments because that, you know, that I'm disturbs on YouTube, people. YouTube, Facebook, I'm on all that shit. So we don't, uh, you got a Twitter? Uh, yeah. I never so used it. You can follow us on Twitter at Kings of the Earth. Why you got Kings, 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 Kings of the Earth. What's that, bro? Yeah, really this, is our, this is church right here. You get links to our YouTube here. channel. Every there. Thursday. We got, we got a bunch of YouTube. Every, th every Thursday okay, around six o'clock, seven o'clock, we're here. Yeah, I got every Thursday. Every Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, that's 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 well, we were out downtown, well, but yeah, there's some other brothers out downtown that, that's, that's teaching falsehood. Right. <coughs> they they teach yeah, you you're an Israelite, but they don't have the truth though. Follow us, you know. They're the brothers downtown. They just want your money. They just want your money. We don't want your money. If you want to give it, give it, but we don't want your money. You know what I'm saying? But them people downtown, they just want your money. Uh, and they getting people's the money, brother. too. He got to go. Let me read this real quick. Okay, my bad, bro. Uh, okay. Amos 7 and 17. He's talking about, we's talking about a porno and all that. That's a fulfillment of prophecy. The reason these women is acting like whores is because uh, us, the Israelite men, have broken all the Lord's commandments. Okay? We're being punished. This our puni and part of our punishment is the Lord has uh, allowed, allowed the devil to, to take our women and defile our women. And they defile our children too. Mm -hmm. Amos 7 and 17. There's a woman, a woman's property, bro. Okay, a woman it ain't shit. Okay. She's a piece of property. If you have a wife, if you have a wife, you literally own her. You own her. If she's a possession, like you own your clothing. I can't take give me that, give me that jacket. I can't take that from That's yours, right? You baby, you yeah. bought it, right? Yeah. That's your possession. You get a wife or a woman. The man, girlfriend, wife, that's all Hell, the same goddamn thing. This devil came up with these words, girlfriend. Hell, even when America was first formed, women were not allowed to own property at, at all. all. They were property, bro. You, and that's been that way for thousands of years. So that woman belongs to you. Why do you think, why do you think some man go and violate your woman? Why do you think that rage of jealousy is so, in, you can't even control it? You understand? Because that's in your spirit that that's your property. You understand? Yeah, that's why you say that ass belongs to me. That ass belongs to me. And Mr. There you go. There you go. Uh, actually, the word Mr. means master. 
Actually, when the word Mister, over the, the word Mister yeah. literally means master. Oh, let me get you something. Let me get you something. Uh, why are you getting that? Let me read this real quick. I know what you about to get. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Amos right, seven right. to seventeen. <laughs> Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. Okay, it says that wife shall be a harlot in the city. What do you see? Hey, the number of bitches and hoes. All these women dressed up like prostitutes. Mm -hmm. You can see all every last one of them. You can see their titties. You can see their butt cheeks. See the camel toe. The camel toe. They got uh, tattoos all over. <laughs> but we ain't faggots. We like women. Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. You know, we don't want nobody's wife or woman. You know. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. We want a single woman. You know. Yeah. But ain't none of these women are virgins. So none of them are virgins. Curses that the brothers read. That's a curse that the brothers read. Right. It said, therefore, thus say the Lord, thy wife oh, shall oh, be a harlot quick. in the city. And thy sons and thy daughter shall fall by the sword, oh, and thy yes. land shall be divided That's why I saw by the grass. And thou shalt die in a polluted land. America's a polluted, filthy land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity, forth out his land. Mm. That's how we all came to America was in captivity. America was founded as a giant slave plantation. They were selling tobacco, they were selling cotton. It, they, they brought all these people over here to work. This is for, just check this out, bro. First Corinthians 11 and eight. Um, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Oh, yeah, Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man, you know? Oh, oh shit, I'm, I'm dropping. <laughs> I go there too, if you want me to. Uh -huh. Possession you talking about? I got, I forgot where it was. I, I got, got it, I, I got, got it, I already got it. Was that 36? Make you feel right, good, bro. <laughs> it's like reading, man. It does, man. It helps spiritually, don't it? Yeah. It helps you spiritually. Reading these Bibles, man, then, see, you can't just pick up this book and understand on your own. You got to have teachers. And that's why we're out here to teach you this. What's up? I listen, I, he going to hear that scripture. Well, listen, well, this is going to prove that we said a women are property. Ecclesiasticus. We're not, you can love your woman, too. She's not like a. Filthy animal. Right, you, you can't abuse her yeah, mentally you, or physically. You yeah, can't do right. it. There's laws on how you treat your woman. You, you gotta to treat take her care good, of her man. and all that, love her and all that. Ain't no wrong with treating a woman good, man. Yeah. I feel it feels good treating a woman it good. It does, it does. If she's your woman. But she's still your woman. Right. Not nobody else's. Not your neighbor, not your best friend. Yours. Ecclesiasticus 36 and 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. A possession. A help. Like unto himself okay. in a pillar of rest. That's right. Well, a woman's supposed to comfort you. These bitches ain't gonna you do, Why do you think ass. they got titties? You can lay it like a little please, pillows. You can literally. Soft little pillows. Suck them if you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? The most high bad, man. That's a bad man. He's bad, man. He's bad, man. He created something that we love. That, that Cause there's nothing better. No, a man don't like nothing better than a beautiful woman. Oh, my I, I take a woman over a wine and whiskey. <laughs> Any day. Over there, over there. Riches, riches. <laughs> if she's down with you, take riches over a woman. She look man. good. She do. She is cute. She, she, already, she cursed us out though. She don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's till the, that's till that's till chaos starts. Her whole attitude is going to change when chaos starts. When these streets start, when you start seeing murder and death, cause we're going to see it. And it's gonna happen soon. It's going. We're going to see it. All these women, their funky ass attitudes, all gonna change, man. It's gonna change. Gone. Things like that. When it ain't they, gonna be no. When they starving, mm -hmm. they ain't got no food, or they just got motherfucking <laughs> raped, or <laughs> their little baby just got his head bashed. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna get whack. No, bro, it's not. Fun. It's gonna get I mean, bad. I mean, you laugh now, but what? It's gonna be crazy out here. You went to the conspiracy theories and shit. Oh yeah. You, so you already know. So that that's not. A fantasy. It's not a fantasy world that you're saying. When they say martial law is coming, that's coming, bro. I know you heard about the microchip. They about to start implanting people with microchips, bro. And that's not going. That's not going to be yeah. a funny day. Yeah. That's 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 going to be the day that's going to separate the, the men from the boys. The men from the boys. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the Lord said, whoever takes that microchip, you condemn yourself to death. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's the mark of the beast, right here. Ooh. I've seen that before. I'm sorry, you heard of the Mark of the Beast, the microchip. Spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter. You better read all. Here you go, this is Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold ye among the heathen, in regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, 
go and be told you. Now, we can't even begin to go into what's going to happen, man. We can just touch the surface. We can just touch the surface on what's going to happen. Now, cannibalism, zombies, zombies, zombies. You've seen zombie movies. Oh. That's just going to become a reality. It's going to become a fucking reality. But these people, we tell them, we warn them. And we give you a reason why these zombies can be created. First of all, they have a gun. Russia has a gun. They can point it at you, turn you into a zombie. There's, there's, there's medications these people depend on oh, that if they don't have the medications, they, some people require medications so they can sleep. You know what happens to the mind when you don't get sleep over two, three days? You gonna want to kill everything, literally. You gonna want to eat and kill your oh, damn self. Moving all that heavy you shit. know, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, These people yeah. depend on you sleeping meds. They you depend on belts? anxiety pills. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't so when kill. society shuts down, when that pharmacy, the good local friendly pharmacist, is shut down, the gates is on the door. You know, hey, hold, people gonna flip out. Hold this for me. I got a scripture for you. They gonna flip the fuck out, man. This is what we talking about. They gonna bro. flip the fuck out. Check this out. Amos, this is Amos 5 and 20. Shall not the day the Lord be darkness and not light? Not pretty. Even very dark and no brightness in it. Woo! Listen. Oh, actually, did I already? I skipped a part on that. It's going to be a gloomy day. Let me skip back up. Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Like a lot of these fake ass Christians in this church, they're not teaching you that you are an Israelite. Okay, they're not teaching you the Lord's real name is Yahweh Shai. They're not teaching you about the mark of the beast. They're not teaching you about martial law. They're not teaching you about the Illuminati. They ain't teaching you shit. And I can, and you are an Israelite. Oh, I can yeah. tell through your spirit you're an Israelite. No doubt. You a nigga. <laughs> you know, that's just being, I'm just using that just. Because well, originally all the Israelites were all dark skinned. Right, at In one time. years, we got, you know, we got, we got mixed in with the heathens, mm. having sex with heathen women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, leprosy. But as long as you're having boys, that boy is an Israelite. Yep. Your seed continues on. Yeah, you, you can't have a your father was. right. You can't have daughters, and you're, you're just you don't. They don't continue your seed on. Well, where's your father from? Uh, Mexico. Huh? Wow. Uh, Mexico. You're an Ishikar, right? Okay. Yeah, you probably from the side. Ishikar. Right. Okay. You speak Spanish? Oh, I'm a little bit. Huh? Oh, no. Yeah, you're an Israelite, bro. You wow, I, I'm tripping now. Oh, I, 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 I feel a little Latino vibe. <laughs> That's a good thing. Let That's good. Quick, quick, though, quick. That's good. It said, "Woe unto you the desire the day the Lord." To what end is it for you? The day the Lord is darkness and not light. As <laughs> if a man did flee from a lion. So check this one, out. One of these wicked fools, a lion came up and they ran from the lion. And as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. <laughs> or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You know, you know what the Lord's saying there? He's saying there's going to be chaos everywhere. It's like, yeah, right, because like, there's going to be race riots. There's going to be mm -hmm. class riots, riots, class warfare. Well, there's going to be all kind of crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. here, and if you ain't if the Lord, if you ain't a man of the Lord, you're going to get caught up in that. Yep. Okay, because he's going to protect his elect. He's going to set angels over us to watch him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be spiritual to believe that. Yep. You, you know, got to receive this truth, man. <laughs> you have to. Because so this is your only key out of here. What you know about UFOs? 21. Night Owl, Clintonville, Illinois. So, uh, okay, what do, you, what do you think? You think they are from Planet X? Hebrew? <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrial life does exist somewhere. The, 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 the chariots, most of the chariots, the, the, chari the balls of fire. You ever see a chariot in the sky with your own eyes? I've seen a couple of weeks ago, I saw like an orange glow of a light or some kind just smoothly across. You saw a chariot. You saw a chariot. That's probably a chariot. You saw a chariot. That's the most a I could, could show you shit like that. That's the angel of the Lord. Getting you ready to come out here and talk to us. Yep, yeah, pretty yeah, much. It's on 4th of July, too. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. Check angel, it out. That 4th of July pissed the angels off. That's the angels flying around up there, bro, and them chariots. You can go out. It's hard to see. On a, it's hardly ever clear sky. And they spraying them with, 
They spray us with so many chemtrails, we can't never get a clear sky anymore. Mm -hmm. But on a clear night, you'll see chariots all through the sky, bro. And you know, uh, they found a way to use chemtrails to control some aspects of the weather, too. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's, uh, that's, that's old technology, too. It's not nothing new. Doing it. That's old technology. You're talking about heart. Yeah, yeah, they that's, they well, that's it. That's it. You know, they closed down heart because they um they built it better down the street. <laughs> it's only it's, yeah, it's, well, that's it's a old one. Yeah, they got new shit. They yeah, got they got it. They perfected they got, it. Yeah, they got shit. They ain't gonna tell the average person about. But and they're not gonna tell you that there's other nations like Russia, China, Japan yeah. that have the same technology. I mean, yeah. eventually we're gonna find out, but there'll be so many stories we won't actually know what it truly is. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's man. It's about to get busy well, out like here, the, man. Like the scriptures we read to you earlier said, uh, they take crafty counsel against Israel. Yeah. That 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 uh, manipulating the weather. Right, that's bro? part of that crafty counsel. Yeah, I want to start you know what I'm saying? Give me a back brace. You start drinking some water. These devils are sophisticated. Drink water, man. That water helps you stay yeah, hydrated. They're very smart. So cramping up and shit, you know. Oh, yeah. That you got that water, man. That's important to drink. And you think is, man. You, we 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 think we make the mistake to drink any water. You know, because a lot of that water we buy is bad water also. That water got to have yeah. rich oxygen in it. You know what I'm saying? Got to be rich in oxygen, man. It's certain time. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different water got different purposes. Mm -hmm. now, I like drinking a lot of distilled water, but yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. the distilled water don't be doing it for me. So you got to switch it up to... Uh, and so, something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Right. There's different kind of water <laughs> yeah. you can drink. They got GMO. Yeah, give me some of that GMO, GMO minerals. <laughs> That, that <laughs> makes you start feeling good. GMO minerals and yeah. shit in there. Yeah. But them cherry, that cherry you see, man, those are the angels of the Lord. Yeah, now, it's something. easy to fall into that trap and believe that there's reptilians and lizards up there flying those things. It's easy because that's... The, the, the heavens is vast. Yeah. You know, there's big, there's trillions <coughs> of planets and stars. Trillions. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to fall into that. But the reality of it is there are no other life forms out there but the angels of the Lord and whatever they have on the planets. There ain't no men and people walking around those other planets. They, they out there preparing them planets for us. When we get our power, when, when the Lord gets here, the heavens is gonna be opened up to us. Then we're gonna be able to travel to the yeah. planets. This Right now, this devil can't go out there. Cause if they can, the Lord will get rid of his people. He tell you, he just created this shit not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I'm gonna get that, um, in, what's that, Jeremiah? Um, oh, he's going to Jeremiah. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll find you. I gotta read you one of my favorite all time scriptures. You got, you got a King James Bible? Yeah, I got a good Yeah, throw that shit in the fucking trash. <laughs> Straight up. No, no, no. Keep it and get a King James to compare it to. You know, well, you got the internet. You got yeah, everything. So, if you got the internet, you have every book ever written. <laughs> but check this out. Get you a King James Bible with an apocrypha. God, it was in they took these scriptures out of the King James. You need to remember that and get one of these. Like, if you got any questions, get on Twitter. <coughs>